I, I would tell anyone that's getting into building a network, spend the vast majority of your time on restoration and make sure you do it well. Because the last Absolutely. thing that the city wants to hear from is, you know, 500 taxpayers that, mm -hmm. you, that you messed up their petunias. If you hear from none, they're real happy to give you permits because they bill mm -hmm. you for them. I mean, they, you pay for them. They're expensive. So the city's motivated to, to, to give you permits. What they don't want to deal with is, is restoration problems. Well, somebody asked me this. A big telco, I had a conversation with a guy from Big Telco last week. And he said to me, they're struggling um, on building in some areas. And he said, I said, yeah, the permitting pro pro like process can get a little complicated. And he was like, well, so if you're not a jerk to the permitting people, you probably have better oh. luck. And I was like, yes, you will. It's a relationship and you do not need to treat them like their employee. You need to treat them like they're another human sitting in front of you and that you both need something from each other. And I would imagine big companies are not very good at doing what no. you just said. Yeah. And he was like, he was a little frustrated because he knew his company was not um, being the relationship builders. And he was like, and that's probably where some of our real big struggles well, are coming from. And part of that problem is they also don't keep the same person in the same job very long. Absolutely. Yeah. And the person is good at permitting and let them stay there for 20 years. Right. So, well, not just, and not just that, but mm -hmm. to go even one further, then they have unrealistic expectations uh, about that person. So that person is trying to figure out how to build. And, you know, what it comes down to, I think, is then you're behind schedule and you, then you start getting angry and frustrated if everything doesn't go your way.